This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Courtney Johns with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. One Omaha man is back home recovering after overcoming COVID-19. He was one of the earlier patients and hopes his story will inspire others to think more positive if they become sick. Karna Garung tested positive for the virus back on March 29th. He went to the hospital on April 14th after self-quarantining at home. He says he was in a coma for more than 30 days as Nebraska Medicine treated him with remdesivir and filtered his blood. He says he was concerned he was going to die before going to the hospital, but when he woke from the coma, his positive thinking helped him get through. Grung has been home since late May and encourages people to wear masks and social distance when out in public. Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium is getting closer to showing a brand new exhibit. Owen's Sea Lion Shores features underwater viewing and more waves for the sea lions. It also comes with an amphitheater. The exhibit is set to open by this Labor Day. And I'm 3 News Now, weather alert meteorologist Audra Moore with this weather update. We started off our Friday morning with a couple of spotty showers and storms, and a few more are possible through this afternoon and into the evening. Now, others will stay totally dry, so the rain certainly isn't for everyone. However, the clouds are going to be sticking around for the most part, and that's going to keep our temperatures below average, with most of us in the low to mid 70s, a couple upper 70s trying to sneak in there too. Then as we go Friday night into Saturday morning, we'll start to see another round of some showers and storms start to move in. Most of it though looks to stay farther to the north. At least that's been the trend over the past few hours. So we'll keep an eye on things here as we go through the rest of our Friday. And temperatures as we start the weekend will be back down in the mid to upper 60s. For your Friday afternoon though, we get to about 77 here in Omaha. With those northeast winds, a bit breezy at times, but really not too bad compared to what we were experiencing earlier in the week. These gusts only around 15 to 20 miles per hour at most. So through the weekend, well, summer officially begins on Saturday, but it's going to be a little bit cooler than those summer-like temperatures we've seen through most of June, with the highs back in the mid-70s. A few more showers and thunderstorms are possible, especially through Saturday morning. Could see a few more into Sunday on Father's Day. Some of those could be strong to severe, so we'll be keeping an eye on that as we get into the second half of the weekend. But next week, a few more hit and miss rain and storm chances with temperatures mainly in the mid 80s. Stuck at home? We've got you covered. My peaches are baked to perfection in a 450 degree oven, hands free after bake. From oven to box to your door. Call me, Godfather's Pizza. Do it.